so we've got a lot of stock but if we didn't have any more food in this week this would be empty by the end of the week but up to the end of November we fed approximately 23,000 people and I think something like 10 or 12,000 of those are children It was a big shock really, Covid. We went straight through to delivery. Very quickly Waterloo Food Bank joined us and said we're coming on board, Foxhall a week later and Clapham Park in the summer. So we're all working together out of the one venue. So we're doing a full delivery and we also took over the whole church so that we'd have maximum space um, so that we could work in and offer the full delivery which is now five days a week, Monday to Friday and deliveries going out every day. I think first impressions is a very busy place to uh, to work and to volunteer. And all the people who are uh, volunteering here and working here should um, have a big praise. I feel I feel blessed that I can come in and help put it, putting a, a box together of food, sending it off to people who need it. It's it's good that I can come out and help and see what it's all about. I think it's incredibly important being in Rwanda community that we live in, helping out because I think you can get carried away with the people that you're in around every day. You don't really ever get to realise how lucky you are. And when you come to a place like a food bank, it makes you appreciate that. It's, it's amazing support because we've had teams come and help and do sorting and packing parcels like they are today. There's been donations of food and cash and it's just to help to raise the awareness through not just the players but also supporters who are amazingly supportive of our work. So yeah, it's been a real positive to have them on board.